Hey guys! So today's video is going to be a Chase and Repose video uh, for this Bodhi tree leaf piece. When we came back from Thailand, uh, we actually brought a, a leaf pressed in a book as an example. Um, and this leaf is slightly bigger than the one we actually brought. The whole piece is about 7 inches square. It's 18 or 20 gauge copper. Um, and there's going to be a lot of either ors and buts in this video. Um, the piece is currently on display, so I can't double check anything with it. And this piece is the first uh, in a series of chased um, leaves. So, of course, there's the Bodhi leaf, um, then there was a maple leaf, and potentially we'll be doing an, an oak leaf in the future, um, but we're not sure at this point. So if you want to see those, uh, there will be a link to Dan's Instagram in the description. And on that note, uh, this piece was done by Dan, um, and he usually does the audio for any of the videos he does solely by himself, but he's actually really sick right now, so his voice isn't that great. Uh, but I'm hoping that'll do just as good of a job if that he does. So some information about the toolage that was used in this piece. Um, to start with, of course, when you're doing a chasing and repose, you have to do some lining, um, and the lining was a big factor when you're doing something as intricate as a Bodhi leaf. Um, so the first liner we used was a curved bottom one, which made it really nice for gliding, uh, but then to get some of the more intricate vines in there, um, Dan actually went back, um, well, all of his pushers and all of his liners he makes himself, uh, but he actually went back at the beginning of this project uh, and made an even thinner and a completely flat liner uh, to get into the little tiny pieces. And we recently just changed up our pitch. We actually had a reason to get uh, more than we currently had. Uh, and the pitch that we got, which we've used in this project, is uh, from Northwest Pitchworks, uh, and it's the medium pine pitch. Um, so far it's been really great, and it works, <laughs> obviously it works really much better than plain black pitch. Uh, it's cleaner, it smells way better, um, and it's actually a lot softer than the red German pitch. And actually with this new project and with the new pitch, uh, we learned that if you put the put your pitch bowl, the project, everything in the freezer, uh, the project will actually disconnect from the pitch really easily. Um, instead of trying to heat up the project in the pitch and then you take it off and it's this goopy, disgusting mess. Um, and then you end up with excess that you either have to burn away or use paint thinner or, or some other chemical to get rid of. Um, this way it's just one quick kind of um, tap on the side, you pull it off, it's, it's done. So to start off the pushing um, on the project, we use two different hammers, both by frets, and one is just a flat metal hammer and the other is a plastic um, multi-headed hammer. So the main two pushers that were used on this project uh, was a teardrop pusher, this one right here, um, and then later on a flatter uh, that has an upset on it so you can kind of get slightly underneath things, uh, which is really ha handy. Um, and the main thing about the teardrop pusher is because it has the, the small side and then the large side, um, you can kind of create a tapered line as well as get into different um, crevices. And the beginning, um, well, the top of that Bodhi leaf, the teardrop was really helpful for.
So that's really it for this video, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a video suggestion down below as well. Like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, a link to Dan's Instagram where you can see a lot of finished product photos uh, will be down in the description. If we think of anything else uh, in the future that we'd like to say about this video, uh, that will be in the description as well, so be sure to check that out. And we're hoping to post more videos like this on the regular, so don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.